PlayStation 5 does have an advantage over the Series X. Also, speaking of Xbox, the Series S was just leaked. Y'all like I did the S? <laughs> the S was just leaked. And find out why Nintendo fans are raging. All in one epic video. Let's go. Ob one plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. one plays. How are y'all doing? Bro, we have some dope news items for this video. But before we get started, give the video a thumbs up, like the video, and make sure you're subscribed and following me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe right here on YouTube to get in our giveaway at the end of the month, giving away a $60 PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or Xbox digital code, your platform of choice. Let's get to the news. Bro, more news is coming out about the PlayStation 5's architecture and possible advantages it may have over the Xbox Series X. This one is coming from Epic CEO Tim Sweeney. We've, he's already talked about how Unreal Engine 5 is utilizing the power of the PlayStation 5. In fact, when they unveiled Unreal Engine 5, they ran it on PlayStation 5 architecture, but more information is coming out. This article just dropped. This is, come from, this is coming from GamesRadar.com <coughs> and um, Tim Sweeney, he was interviewed in Edge Magazine's latest issue and it's interesting what he says about how the integration of Unreal Engine 5 will give the PlayStation 5 actually an advantage over the competition. Shout out to one of my sponsors, East KY Retro, for scooping me on this. Uh, this is also, I'm referencing Hunter Next Gen Player on Twitter. Multiple sources, but it all ties in for some good news. You wanna hear it? Here it goes. All right, Epic Games has been working closely with Sony for three or four years now to plan Unreal Engine 5 on the PlayStation 5. <coughs> um, CEO Tim Sweeney says that the PlayStation 5's SSD, a solid state drive, is absolutely world class, adding that the world of loading screens is over. More information. First, the fact that they've been working with Sony for three to four years, almost customizing Unreal Engine 5 for um, the PlayStation 5, but this is where it gets real interesting. <clears throat> Listen to what he says about um, the PlayStation 5. Uh, this is Tim Sweeney. Sony really did a fantastic job of implementing a new platform around the realization that storage could be rev rev revolutionized, Sweeney says. PlayStation 5 is built not only on a huge body of flash memory, but also a very high bandwidth and low latency framework for accessing it and for getting it to wherever you need for any type of work, for any type of work. Sweeney also described how the PlayStation 5 can render a texture highly efficiently <laughs> fetching it from the high-speed SSD decompressed into video memory in the exact place it's needed. And so, I've always said this. I'm like, I don't care about load screens. I don't care that the PlayStation 5 could load a game in three seconds opposed to the Xbox Series X loading it in five seconds. But it appears it's more than meets the eye. It not just helps with game loading, but actual performance, how it renders textures. And so, 
the SSD, it has some tricks up its sleeve when it comes to even game performance. And so, interesting to see how things are going to unfold. Again, it's not always ne just necessarily on raw power. <laughs> I know I'm sounding like a PlayStation fanboy right now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, it's how develop. Now, this is real talk. This is real talk. It's how developers utilize the architecture. Case in point. Xbox 360 was less powerful than the PlayStation 3 but the games ran and looked better on the Xbox 360 why developers were better able to utilize the and harness the power of the system according to what Tim Sweeney is saying Unreal Engine 5 has been custom built for the PlayStation 5 most of the big triple A games this generation will be utilizing the um, uh, will be utilizing Unreal Engine 5, which could give Sony an advantage even with on paper less teraflops. And so it what he just said today within the last 24 hours, this article was posted. It's very interesting when it comes to how actual game performance will benefit from a faster SSD. The transferring of information. Interesting stuff. But we're not done with the news item for this video. We got a couple more news items for this video, including a major Xbox Series S leak and Nintendo fans rage. But before we get to that, Marvel Avengers, the full war table. Um, reveal the presentation was um, yesterday um, the game did look pretty dope I got an ad playing on the video the game looked pretty dope day one by um, still my most anticipated game for 2020 the game looked dope there were some frame rate hit issues I did see with the presentation but this is more reason for me to get it on next gen hardware the game comes out in september though so i'm gonna get it on the playstation 4 and they did confirm it's a free upgrade to the playstation 5 the game looks dope though the game does look dope can't wait to um, to get my hands on the game i believe the game is 60 frames per second <coughs> i know definitely on the playstation 5 is 60 frames per second but um go on go ahead and check out the um, presentation a single player look dope online multiplayer look dope game just look dope and next news item the xbox series s is pretty much confirmed pretty much confirmed um the xbox series s um lockhart codename lockhart appeared in the latest xbox sdk documents it was pretty much officially leaked all right um, today we can add this is coming from laptopmag.com real short today we can add another solid piece to the Xbox Series S puzzle um, as release notes for the Microsoft game develop developer kit for June 2020 <coughs> were posted on Twitter by at XB1 underscore Hess Decimal and it includes reference to Lockhart um, the specific reference in this case is to Lockhart profiling mode and it appears to deal with a more limited memory available in the Xbox Series S as compared to the Xbox Series X which is identified with Anaconda profiling mode. So all the leaks of the code names Anaconda and Lockhart were true and what's telling is the Xbox Series S will have limited memory meaning it's going to be a lower spec system there are rumors that it's going to actually be four teraflops of computing power which doesn't make sense because my current gen console my xbox one x is six teraflops so i'm definitely not buying this um i still have to be convinced microsoft has their presentation in july i want to see what games but my thing is as awesome as um, Microsoft presentation will can be in July, even if it's crazy good, all those games I'm gonna be able to get on my Xbox One X. So 
interesting and last but not least before we end this video Pokemon have their presentation let they need to learn a lesson do not overhype your presentation last week they said we have something big <laughs> that we got to save for a separate presentation and immediately when you say something big to Pokemon fans, Pokemon fans are like the craziest fans in the whole wide world. They were like, oh, next gen Pokemon game. Oh, a remake of a classic Pokemon game. Oh, it's about to be lit. And it turns out to be Pokemon Unite, a mobile, MOBA type Pokemon game. And the reason why I'm saying this in this video is Pokemon Unite reveal has officially become the Pokemon Company's most disliked video on YouTube. Let me show you the dislikes. It's at 21,000 dislikes, bro, compared to 19,000 likes. I'm going to read the top two comments, and it tells you everything. Number 10 on trending. <laughs> Only because people want to check the dislikes. And the second comment, which I thought was also funny. Free to start. How can something sound worse than free to play? <laughs> and so, uh, it has become the officially worst, uh, most disliked video by the Pokemon company, rightfully so. It's all about how you hype something up. Pokemon company, they hype this up as something big. To them, it might be big, but to, co to many Pokemon fans, it's trash. I'm not a Pokemon fan, but to Pokemon fans, it's trash. It looked like trash when I saw the presentation. All the while, while I was watching the presentation, I was like, oh, okay. So they're starting off with this, this smaller game, and then they're going to get into whatever the big thing was. But lo and behold, that was it. <laughs> that was the big thing. And I could tell if you're a diehard Pokemon fan, you'd be hot. <laughs> all right, dudes, I'm not even a Pokemon fan, and I was hot. <laughs> what do you guys think about all of this news? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, I know you're wondering, why is Storm all right here? They show the Marvel Avengers game. I know X-Men are not Avengers, but they are in the Marvel Universe. Because on the Switch version, they had Storm in there as an added character that you can unlock later. Bruh. They better throw some X-Men in this Marvel Avengers game, specifically Storm. All right, we out. That's all I have to say. Just get that off my chest. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.